Hi, it's Miss Coventry, and I want to share with you just a few things about Genially that can help you make uh, an infographic that you create on here a little bit more interactive. So if I was using one of their um, original ideas, like this infographic here, oh yeah, I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to choose this and um, I'm going to change the color and then I'm just going to use this template. One of the things you'll see, it's just one page. I could add more pages if I wanted to. Uh, here's where I can change the text. And of course, here's the image. But notice also that there are these little buttons up here. So if I click on this button, it actually allows it to be a little bit more interactive and includes a couple of ways that it could be interactive. One is that I could make a link that would open a new tab when I click an element. One is a window that will open to create a lot of content. And one is a tool tip that will just sort of pop up when you hover over the mouse. So if I have an image where I want to sort of explain something, I can just say, you know, um, interactive element that floats above everything else. Um, from here, I could even actually change to a window or to a link, and it would al alter those pieces. Also notice that from here, I could still add in links or images or movies so that I could click on something and then actually demonstrate something through a video or something else. So then I've put save. Of course, I haven't actually changed that into something, so I am going to want to make that an image. Um, maybe I want to make that a cutout. Uh, I'm going to choose a pig because it's kind of cute. And then, of course, there it is. And I'm going to say, yes, that's what I want. But also, I have that interactive element so that when I preview, um, and this is just going to be a test, when I preview my interactive infographic and I click on this, I can actually see that information. What's really nice, too, is if I look at my sources, You'll see there's a button that says sources, but I would need to actually turn on the interactive element, which is this piece right here, in order to actually add my sources, which I could go into Noodle Tools, print that information into a Google Doc, copy and paste from the Google Doc, and then copy and paste that Google Doc right into my window so that I would have my sources right on my infographic as well. That's a really quick and dirty explanation, but I did want you to sort of see that for each one of these things, you are able to create additional links and additional windows and additional tips to help expand what you see on this original page. So uh, good luck.